Frank Proctor of The Way of the Gun is going to take us to the range and show us some of the ways he utilizes focus and awareness when shooting and processing information. He likes to call it the focus monster. Hey, what's up shooters? Frank Proctor with Way of the Gun Performance Shooting. Back out at the range. Seem to find myself out here at the range quite a bit, and that's cool. We like being at the range. Hard to get better shooting unless you go to a range. So, um, got another installment of shooting whilst moving. You know, earlier we talked about uh, performance shooting, what it is, how I define it, the four components, uh, one of those being movement, okay? Uh, making effective engagements while moving. Most of our shooting on the move, um, our heels are hitting the ground first. We're rather, we're pretty much, if we're moving towards targets that are straight in front of us, targets that are oblique to us or completely lateral to us, Generally, our feet hit the ground heel first, and we're able to use our knees to kind of isolate the gun from that impact by absorbing that impact and rolling it out to our toes. I said in, the, um, in our last episode, we talked about having a sensor in our heel. Well, our feet don't always hit the ground heel first, okay? So we need to look at maybe having sensors all over our feet so that we can better absorb that impact so that we can isolate the gun from that impact. Okay, so I've got another one of my shooting on the move exercises. I call this one the focus monster. Uh, first time I shot some, a variation of this was up at the Six Hour Academy, and we were shooting a plate rack with a pistol from 10 yards away, moving through barrels. It was hard, okay, but I dug it. Um, and the thing I, I had to do to win was I had to really focus on the shooting. Okay, so that's why I started calling this thing the focus monster. Tons of focus on the gun and the target, connecting to both of those things and make things and making the shooting happen when it needed to and the way it needed to. Um, another thing that's working for us there is awareness. Um, in my courses, I talk quite a bit about focus and awareness, how we're built to receive information, how quickly we can process it and how we can absorb other information through awareness. Um, in this case, moving through these barrels, awareness is what's going to get us around these barrels without making contact with them because okay? that's absolutely going to be a goal. So the way the thing is going to go down, we're going to start at that back cone, you know, and we're about 15 yards away from those targets. I've got uh, five targets up there with eight and a half by 11 copy paper on them. We're going to get two rounds per target while making our way through these barrels. So we're going to have to move and absorb impact. Our feet are going to hit the ground a little bit different than heel first. All right, so I'm probably going to start moving to the left. Doesn't matter which way you go. They'll start moving to the left, and when I come around this barrel, you're going to see kind of how our feet are impacting the ground. All right, so right there, that foot's kind of hitting on the heel, but the side of our foot has to absorb that impact too, all right? Hit the impact, or hit, absorb that impact. Sensor's kind of all the way through the foot, so the knee knows how much to give, okay? We're also going to be kind of moving our upper body a little bit in and around these barrels. And moving over a different plane there is also going to get some more work on the stabilization piece, keeping the gun in the target area independent of everything that's going on with the rest of our body. Okay, so there's a lot of work going on here. A lot of focus on the shooting, a lot of awareness getting in and around these things. And hey, this is a tactical shooter consideration. If you make contact with this barrel or make contact with a breech point, you're getting snagged, okay? You may get hung up in the breech point, not be able to shoot. In the case of uh, dories or whatever, might snag you right about the time you need to make a shot, pull the gun off that target, all bad deal. So let's use awareness to help us avoid making contact with those. So let's walk this thing out real quick. Got this bolt locked to the rear. So I can manipulate the selector lever and the trigger and kind of dry fire some shots on here, okay? <laughs> you can make noises when you want to, all right? or if you want to. It kind of helps, I think. Um, something we'll figure out about dry firing through exercises like that. Multiple targets, we're on the move. You're going to see the gun's not always going to be on the target. There's going to be some impact that may shift the gun away from the target. Hey, we just can't shoot, okay? If we listen to the gun, it tells us when we can shoot. Sights aren't there, we can't shoot. Let's go back here, load up, shoot this thing live. And so we're working some multiple target transition here as well. All right, we're not gonna dwell hanging out on the target. When shot number two is fired on the target, we're gonna let our eyes and gun move on to the next target. As soon as we see good enough, we're gonna shoot again. All right, here we go. All right. Let's get one more run through that thing, all right? I like this. I like getting some work out of this. Stabilization, isolation, process. All right, that's it. That's the focus monster. You can do this thing any number of ways. Pistol, rifle, three rounds per target, two rounds per target. Just go out there and get some work. Stabilization, isolation, processing. That's what we got for right now. You guys take it easy, and we'll see you next time. 
Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Caltech, Troy Industries, Troy Defense, Talon Ordnance, Eagle Shield, Nemo Arms, Fax and Firearms, Copus Mobile, Black Forge Weapons, Battle Rifle Company, Vertex, Wiley X, Dark Angel, and Meredith Rifles. We'd like to dedicate this show to one of my really good personal friends, Jan Faircloth. She's one of the toughest ladies I know. You keep fighting, Jan, and we love you. Closed caption provided by Wiley X.